Okay, let us continue. The next speaker is Grigory Ryabov. Risha, you are welcome. Uh, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, today I would like to tell on ambulance groups and maybe it is my favorite topic. So uh, let's start with uh, definitions. Uh, let G be a finite group and E the identity of G. Uh, let the G be the integer group ring. Uh, a subring uh, of the integer group ring is called a sure ring or briefly an S ring of a G if uh, there exists uh, a partition of G uh, satisfying the following properties. Uh, the sets which contains only the identity element of G belongs to our partition. If a set X subset of G belongs to our partition, then the set of elements inverse to elements from X also belongs to the partition and our subring uh, is uh, the linear span of all sums of all elements of all sets from our partition. Uh, the elements uh, of the partition are called the basic sets of the S-ring and the number of the basic sets is called the rank of the S-ring. The notion of an S-ring uh, goes back to Schur and Wieland who studied um, permutation groups containing a regular, a regular subgroup. Uh, for example, uh, sure, um, using S-rings should sure prove the following, uh, uh, the following famous theorem. Uh, each uh, primitive permutation group containing a cyclic regular subgroup of composite order is doubly transitive. Unlike uh, Burnside, who proved the similar statement for cyclic P groups uh, using character theory, uh, Shur did not use character theory. Uh, later, it was realized that uh, an string uh, is a special case of more general object, namely of a coherent configuration, uh, which uh, was introduced by uh, Westphaler and Lehman and independently by Kigma. So there are two obvious examples of a strings. Uh, the first of them corresponds uh, to the partition of G into two subsets. Uh, the first subset contains only the identity element of G, and the second subset uh, contains all non-trivial elements of G. Uh, such a string is called trivial, and of course it is of rank 2. Another of these examples is a whole group ring. Uh, it corresponds to the partition of G into singletons, and uh, it is a frank uh, the order of G squared. So uh, let uh, G right uh, be the group of all right translations of G. Lisa, uh, yes. just a minute. Previous slide, please. Yes, sure. Uh, I think that here rank is G, probably. Uh, uh, sorry, yes, rank uh, is G, of, co of, co of course. Yes. Uh, also, the, for the trivial yes. S ring, the rank equal one for if the group is of order one. Is a, yes, yes, sure. If group is trivial, then uh, we, we have only one set. Yes, yes, sure. Sorry. Sorry, it is a misprint. Sorry. Uh, let uh, G right be the group of all right translations of G. And uh, if K is a subgroup of the symmetric group of G, uh, then by orb of K and G, uh, we denote the set of all orbits of K on G. Uh, in 1933, uh, Shur proved uh, the following theory. If K uh, is a subgroup of the symmetric group of the set G containing G right, then uh, the partition of G into the orbits of the stabilizer of E in K defines an a string over G. And an a string is called Shurian if it can be constructed uh, from a suitable permutation group uh, in this way, from a proper, uh, from uh, from a suitable permutation group. Uh, Wieland wrote in his book uh, that Schur had conjectured for a long time that every S ring is Schur in our terms, of course. But this conjecture uh, was disproved uh, by Wieland. He constructed uh, an unshurian S ring over the elementary abelian group of order P square where p is greater than or equal to 5. And in honor of this Schur's fallacy, Willen suggested the term Schurian. So 
Uh, later, Herschel introduced uh, the following notion. A finite group G is called a Schur group if every sphinx of a G is uh, Schurian. And uh, in the same paper, he suggested the problem of determining of all Schur groups. Uh, why this problem seems to be interesting and maybe difficult? Uh, as I said before, an sphinx is a special case uh, of more general object of a coherent configuration. Uh, and um, if um, it is well known that uh, the graph isomorphism problem is polynomial time equivalent uh, to the problem of finding uh, of, of, the, of orbits of the automorphism group of a given coherent configuration. But if you, your coherent configuration is uh, Shurian, the latter can be done easily. Or, for example, if uh, the coherent configuration constructed from dis the disjoint union of two given graphs is Shurian, then uh, the uh, isomorphism between these graphs can be verified efficiently. And of course, uh, the surety property now is studied for general for many classes of uh, coherent configurations, association schemes. So, uh, which difficulties we can meet? We can meet here. Uh, to prove that a given group is true, you need to classify all strings over uh, this group. But uh, the number of strings over a given group can be very large. And uh, there are mathematicians who estimate uh, the number of strings over some groups. And even uh, in case of cyclic groups, this number is very large. Uh, but even uh, if uh, you have a classification of a sphinx of a given group, you need to verify that all of them are Shurian. So for each of them, you need to find an appropriate permutation group. Uh, but sometimes it is not so easy. Uh, on the other hand, uh, to prove that a given group is not true, you need to find uh, an Shurian sphinx over this group. But uh, how to find it? Who knows? So. Uh, now I provide uh, three uh, general constructions of the strings, uh, which appear very often in different cases, uh, including uh, the case of Abelian groups. And uh, the famous Leontman theorem uh, states that uh, every a string over a cyclic group can be obtained by using one of these constructions. And the first of them is the following. Uh, let K uh, be a subgroup of the automorphism group of G, then the partition of G into the orbits of K uh, defines uh, an string over G. And an string is called cyclotomic if uh, its basic sets are the orbits of uh, some subgroup of the automorphism group of G. Of course, uh, any cyclotomic string is Shurian because it is defined by the semi direct product of G right and uh, subgroup of the automorphism group of G. Uh, to define uh, two other constructions, we need some more definitions. Uh, a subgroup H of G is called an A subgroup if it is a union of some basic sets uh, of A, or equivalently, uh, the sum of all elements from H belongs to A. Uh, a section U by L of G is called an A section if uh, U and L are, are A subgroups. And if, uh, if S is an A section, then uh, one can define uh, an string over S in the following way. Uh, we take all uh, basic sets of A inside U. For each of these basic sets, uh, we take uh, its uh, homomorphic image under the canonical epimorphism from U to U by A. And so uh, we obtain uh, a partition of S. And this partition uh, defines an string over S. Uh, such a string is called uh, the restriction of A on S, and uh, it is denoted by A of, uh, sub S. Uh, it can be checked that if uh, A is Shurian, then its restriction over each A section is also Shurian. And uh, this implies that the section of a Shur group is Shur. Note that uh, if uh, L is trivial, then we obtain a restriction of A on A subgroup. So now let us define uh, the second construction. Let U and L be proper A subgroups of G 
such that G is a direct product of U and A. Uh, we say that A is the tensor product of A U and A A if each basic set of A is of the form X1 times X2, where X1 runs over all basic sets of A U and X2 runs over all basic sets of A A. And uh, it can be checked that the tensor product of Schuren and strings is Schuren. This is a good construction. And uh, the, third, the third construction is the following. Uh, let S U by L uh, be an A section such that L is non-trivial and U is proper. Uh, we say that A is uh, a S risk product or generalized risk product if S is not important of A U and A G by L if every basic set of A outside U is a union of some L cosets. Uh, the notion of uh, the generalized risk product uh, was introduced uh, independently by Leon and Mann under the name uh, wedge product and by Dakimov and Panamarenka under the name generalized risk product. And we use exactly this terminology. Unfortunately, uh, the generalized risk product of Shure and Asrims can be non shurian and uh, there are corresponding examples. Uh, but uh, nine years ago, Yudakimov and Panamarenko uh, proved the necessary and sufficient condition of surety for generalized risk product. And uh, maybe uh, sometimes it is quite difficult to check this condition. And by this reason, uh, they deduced uh, more convenient sufficient conditions uh, of surety for generalized risk product. Uh, and now we can formulate famous Leonhardt theorem, uh, which states that every uh, S ring uh, over a cyclic group is one of the following types uh, trivial, cycloatomic, uh, tensor product, or generalized risk product. So, and uh, from now uh, till the end of the talk, we will go to the classification of abelian sure groups. And it is natural to start with cyclic Schur groups. Uh, the first result on cyclic Schur groups was obtained by Tertian, who proved that cyclic P groups of odd order are Schur. Uh, later, Klein and Tertian proved that, the, that cyclic P groups, uh, sorry, uh, cyclic groups of order PQ and uh, four multiple P, where PQ, uh, where P and Q are distant primes, are Schur. Only 11 years later, after cyclic P groups of odd order. Wolf and Neimark and Tertian checked that uh, cyclic two groups are sure. Uh, since uh, sure worked mostly with uh, cyclic groups and uh, there were no known examples of cyclic non sure groups, uh, Klein suggested the following conjecture. Every cyclic group is sure. Uh, I don't know exactly yeah for this conjecture, but I think uh, 1980s, something like that. Uh, but uh, this conjecture was disproved by Dakimov and Panamarenka. And in 2001, uh, they constructed an unsure in the string over a cyclic group. Uh, it should be mentioned here that uh, this non sure in the string is a generalized risk product of sure in the strings. And if I remember correctly, uh, the order uh, of the corresponding cyclic group must have at least four distinct uh, distant hot prime divisors. So in uh, 2011, if the Kim of Kovac and Panamarenko classify all uh, cyclic sure groups, uh, they prove the following theory. A cyclic group of the n is sure if and only if n belongs to one of the following families of integers. Uh, PK, uh, P to the power k, PQ to the power k, 2PQ to the power k, PQR and 2PQR, where P, Q, and R are pairwise distinct primes and P is an image. So uh, let's move to abelian short groups. Uh, in uh, 2013, uh, Yudakim, and Ponomarenka proved necessary conditions of surety for abelian groups. But uh, before we formulate them, we need uh, some more notations. Uh, omega of n is uh, Omega of n denotes the total number of prime divisors of a number n uh, with multiplicity swimming. And omega star of n is equal to omega of n uh, if n is odd, and omega star of n is equal to omega of n divided by 2 if n is even. And uh, 
uh, let us formulate the theory. Uh, let G1 and G2 be abelian groups of orders N1 and N2, respectively. And uh, omega star of N1 and omega star of N2 are greater than or equal to 2. Then there exists an Onshurian S ring over the direct product of G1 and G2. And again, uh, the non Shurian S ring from the above theory is a generalized trace product of Shurian S ring. And uh, even not even uh, of cyclotomic S rings, if I remember correctly. So, and uh, using this theorem, uh, Ildakim Akovich and Panamarenka uh, established uh, all candidates for two abelian Shur groups. And the first result is concerned with um, elementary abelian Shur groups. An elementary abelian non cyclic group of order n is Shur if and only if n is equal to uh, 4, 8, 9, 16, 27, 32. Uh, the only if part of this theorem follows uh, from the previous one. But the if, if, the if part uh, was verified by computer calculations uh, provided by Pech, Reichert, Zifa. So uh, let's go further. Uh, what about uh, non cyclic, non elementary abelian, abelian short groups? Uh, using uh, the, uh, the previous theorem, uh, if the Kim of Coach and Ponomayanka proved uh, that an abelian short group which is neither cyclic nor elementary abelian, belongs to one of the following infinite families of groups. Uh, I uh, don't read all of them. Maybe uh, I recall that C denotes a cyclic group and E denotes uh, an elementary abelian group. So, so we have uh, nine families. So uh, what uh, do we know at the present moment? We uh, know the complete classifications of cyclic show groups of uh, elementary abelian sure groups. And we know that each uh, abelian sure group, which is neither cyclic nor elementary abelian, belongs to one of these families. But we don't know that all these families are indeed true. So, and this is uh, the main problem, maybe. Uh, the first result here was obtained by Ildakim Akovic and Panamarenka in the same paper. Uh, they checked that the direct product uh, of Elementary abelian group of order four and cyclic group of prime order is sure. Uh, Muzuchuk and Panamarenka proved that the direct product of cyclic two group and cyclic group of order two is sure. They also proved that uh, the direct product of cyclic three group and cyclic group of order, two, of order three is sure. And uh, Panamarenka and they also proved that uh, the direct product of elementary abelian uh, group of order nine and cyclic group of prime order is sure. These results uh, seem very short, but uh, behind each of these uh, results, there is a 20 or 30 pages paper where uh, all S rings of uh, these groups were classified. And it turns out that uh, each non trivial S ring over one of these groups uh, is uh, either psychotomic or tensor or generalized risk product. So, uh, Leon Kman theorem holds for these groups. Uh, in fact, I believe uh, I believed that all remaining groups are also sure, but uh, unfortunately, maybe fortunately, uh, it is not true. And uh, let us formulate uh, our main results. Uh, the first theorem is the following: uh, Let P be a not prime. Then uh, the direct product of uh, this, of a cyclic group of order two P and cyclic two group, if uh, cyclic uh, two group of order two to the power k is sure, if and only if k is smaller than or equal to two. Uh, to prove the only if, uh, if part of the theorem, it is sufficient to construct an Anshurian S ring over uh, the direct product of cyclic groups of order two p and eight, because we remember that uh, a section of a sure group must be sure. So for P is equal to three, uh, such non shurian S ring uh, was computed by this R. And uh, later I looked carefully on this example and uh, constructed uh, for an arbitrary O prime P a non shurian S risk product, uh, where S is a section, is a, a such section isomorphic to the direct product of cyclic groups of order two and four. 
So and uh, uh, is this sure ring? Is this not sure yet? But uh, if k is smaller than or equal to two, then uh, this group is sure. And in fact, Leon Quan theorem holds for this group. So uh, the second statement uh, may be the most unusual. Uh, let p be a not prime. Then uh, the direct product of the elementary abelian group of order 16 and cyclic group of prime of order p is sure if and only if p is not equal to 1 modular 3. So uh, theorem, this theorem for p is equal to 3 uh, follows from computer calculations. And in fact, in, 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 fact, in this case, uh, this group is sure. But uh, for a prime p such that uh, p is equal to one modulo three, and on sure an S S3 product uh, over this group uh, was constructed, and section S is of order four, and it is isomorphic to the elementary abelian group uh, of order four, and uh, the rank of the restriction of our S ring over this section is equal to two. So we have a trivial S ring. Uh, over the section. So, but if p is equal uh, to two modular three, then this group is sure. And uh, again, Leon Kman theorem holds uh, for this group. So, uh, other suspicious groups from the list uh, are sure. So, we pr uh, we proved that uh, the direct products of elementary abelian groups are for the four. Cyclic P group, elementary abelian group of order four and cyclic group of order PQ, uh, cyclic group of order six and cyclic uh, three group, elementary abelian group of order nine and cyclic group of order PQ uh, are sure. So the remaining groups are sure. And again, for each of these groups, uh, Leung Mann theorem holds. So every ring is uh, trivial or cyclotomic or tensor or generalized trees product. And as a corollary, we have uh, a complete classification of abelian sure groups. Let G be an abelian group, which is neither cyclic nor elementary abelian. Then G is a sure group if and only if uh, G belongs to one of the following families of groups. So, and uh, maybe in the end of my talk, I say some words about further possible research. Maybe it will sound uh, fantastic, but who knows? Uh, as we see, Lengmann's theorem holds for every abelian sure group. On the other hand, Lengmann's theorem does not hold for an elementary abelian group of order p square where p uh, is greater than or equal to 5. Uh, because uh, the example constructed by Riemann is uh, not cyclotomic or tensor or generalized this product. And uh, it is a good challenge to uh, try to classify all S rings over this elementary abelian group. Uh, it, maybe it is a uh, very difficult question, quite old question, but who knows, maybe somebody will have ideas. Uh, another question is concerned with uh, non abelian sure groups. In uh, 2014, uh, Panamarenko and Vasilyev proved the following necessary condition of surety for non abelian groups. If G is a non abelian sure group, then G is metabelian, and uh, the number of prime divisors of order of G is at most seven. But at the present moment, uh, it is not known uh, whether there exists at least one infinite family of non-abelian sure groups. And I think uh, maybe it is a good idea to find at least one infinite family of non-abelian sure groups. Uh, it should be mentioned that uh, there are examples there are sporadic examples of non abelian sure groups which were obtained from computer calculations. So um, it seems that uh, there are two main problems here. The first of them is that uh, the theory of uh, S-rings over non abelian groups is not developed nowadays. And uh, on the other hand, uh, the attempts uh, to attack this problem uh, on non abelian sure groups uh, meet. Uh, some hard number theoretical problem, for example, uh, concerned with computation of cyclotomic numbers. So, but, but, but I believe that it is possible to construct such family. So, thank you for your attention.
<coughs> Thank you for your talk. <coughs> Are there any comments, questions? Uh, I have uh, one question. You wrote here that Lungman theorem holds for every abelian show group and does not hold <coughs> for uh, elementary abelian group of order P square yes. for enough large P. Can you say uh, somehow where it's possible to find a class, uh, the whole class group for which Lungman theorem works? Uh. It is, a, uh, it is an interesting question. Uh, maybe uh, such group, uh, such groups should be quite close to cyclic groups. So, uh, in, in some sense, because in fact, uh, if we have a, um, a subgroup with such section. Uh, which is elementary abelian uh, of order p square, which is large, sufficiently large, then uh, Leon Kman's theorem does not hold. So it seems that uh, such groups should be close to cyclic, like sure groups. Okay. Uh, are there any questions, comments? Remarks. Uh, I also have a question. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so, Grisha, can you go, go to page 10? Uh, page 10, this one, I think. So, you, you have, when you prove that these are uh, sure groups. Yes. So, what was the, the method which you used here? Uh, so, uh, there are maybe some, some statements. Uh, we, which, which we used. Uh, one, one of the statement uh, concerned with um, uh, a strings of uh, abelian groups of so-called non-powerful order. Uh, this means that uh, uh, the order of the group has a prime, uh, has a prime divisor and uh, prime divisor P such that P square does not divide uh, the order of the group. And um, there are very nice uh, results obtained by Dakimo Kovach and Ponomarenko and by uh, Muzuchuk and Somla uh, recently, which uh, help us. So, in fact, uh, these results uh, state that uh, help to enumerate uh, generalized trees product over these groups. So, and which was the most difficult group to handle? Uh, I think uh, the most difficult group, uh, uh, this one E4 times uh, cyclic uh, P group, uh, because uh, these three other groups are quite short using uh, the, the above mentioned theorem. And maybe also um, uh, it is very long case, this case, uh, the direct product of elementary abelian group for the 16 and cyclic uh, group for the P because uh, there are many cyclotomic uh, strings uh, yeah, here, so which uh, should be classified. Thank you, very nice talk. <clears throat>